This orange machine is buzzing like an ice groans and howls under the strain of your giant Gavalzund multi-tool. Until the lid cracks open, blue electric lights come to life. Inside, on a frosty platform, lies an object. It, you gently lift the cube from its frosty bedding, careful not to damage it. We should take it back to Miss Lucan and Kilda as soon as possible. And yes, but aren't you curious to know what's on the precious filament? There's a... Yes, what is it? Yes? Thanks. Looks like it's the one. Now I'm going to print it out to see what's left of it. Wait, no. That's dangerous. She shouldn't do it. I have a theory. Lintel was able to divine the location of the anomaly from this broken copy. I want to repeat their calculation, only this time with better equipment. Watch. What an intricate display of failure. The paper starts filling out with ink, soaking it in a gleaming blackness. Not a single line of data stand. Huh? You okay? This is embarrassing. Sona doesn't reply. Her hands running over the printout. She's looking for something. For her morning star. Eyes scouring the millimeters. Here. I found it. Hold on. Give me a second, I'm almost... I've never witnessed a programmer work before. Done! I've got it! I found the location of the anomaly! Thank you! There, in the swallow. 
Think you can help me again? I need you to go move those water bolts for me. I need to double check my calculations. What an interesting proposition. Truly a task for the intellectuals, solving the puzzle of water bowls. Figure it out? No, I don't need you to figure anything out. I've got a computer for that. Just walk over to the circle and follow my instructions. Move the third bowl two centimeters to the left, and the fourth bowl five centimeters to the right. This should do the trick. What? She only wants you to follow instructions. Nothing in- Thanks. It's awfully silent again. Measurements have been marked down around the bowls. Each chalk drawn line representing a centimeter on the floor. It moves like a ghost without creating a single trace of sound. This task is an insult to your mental skills. Some water spills out of the bowl, wetting the floor. The lead programmer sends you an encouraging thumbs up from time to run back or maybe walk. Yes, what is it? Great. Everything should be aligned now. Miss Know-It-All is hesitating. Yeah, let's do it. Now the only thing left to do is to unmute the headphones. If we got the location right, we should then be able to hear whatever sound this anomaly makes. Honestly, honestly, I'm a little scared. I don't know. That's what I'm scared of. I don't know. It could be anything. I mean, what sound does the nothing make? How can you even listen to something that doesn't exist? What if silence is only what surrounds it, but the swallow itself is... Maybe, maybe I'm just tired. Let's think about this logically. Why would nothing be terrifying if it's, well, nothing? Because it reminds us of death, and we humans tend to think that death is pretty scary. Death is scary. You can't just start over again, or can you? Yeah, you're right. Let's do it. The lieutenant takes a step back. And then... Nothing. Nothing happens. As Sona Lokanen killed her, she doesn't talk. Her eyes closed and brows knitted together in a state of deep focus. One ha- Damn it! No, of course not! Nothing happened, let's move on. Despite her fear, she was hoping for something ext- No! No, my hypothesis was wrong. According to this, I should have heard something, if I got the coordinates right. Like I said, silence is only what surrounds it. But this... This is just another failure. Silence sounds like silence. That's all it is. You can try on the headphones. See if you can hear anything. But don't get your hopes up. Silence is silence? You're sure there's more to it? This can't be it. You should have a listen.
Yes, what is it? Drop in temperature, an easy flow of air, an empty street. Before you, a thoroughfare unjammed with lorries. No more drivers smoking on hitch steps. Just silence. Chemically sweetened, across the road, a forgotten bus stop. Corrosion has opened a hole in its roof. An elm tree watches over the building. Its branches are dripping with rain and snow. The road is smooth and motley. Craters filled with a black asphalt. The asphalt first laid is grey already. A row of tenements are under construction in the distance. A tub warm with water, white with soap. A man bathes while radio waves transmit the lottery numbers. 4, 18, 21, 4, 1. A modern washing machine rattles a drawer full of silver. His boyfriend is on his way home. He brings tins of meat and vegetables with him. Their pockets are heavier with money, but only slightly. Number 312D. Young girls used to come here, huddled up, hoping for more warmth than their thin coats give them. The bus took them to school. It has not run for eight years. Craters pocked the surface. Children played in them until heavy trucks full of black pitch rolled in. The landowners have filled the craters with money. It is a vital artery of the flow of trade. There's one bump on the road. A dead dog lies flat about 200 paces away, right at the... The wind moves the aerosol. A detective stands behind the boom barrier. A breeze...
Kuno's like Kuno's dad. Kuno doesn't give a fuck a so. Yes, yeah, so? Kuno did sick the pigs on him? Kuno's a man of his... Kuno sent your fat ass running around like jelly! Look, pig. Kuno sent you to rough some people up. Kuno played you. That happened. Now you and Kuno should move on. You got fucked. You got fucked, pig. Fucked bad. Of course you're going to remember this. After this shit, you better have something real interesting to say if you want to stay in... Yeah, real interesting. Kuno's Kuno, pig? It's always Kuno, never I. Clearly the Kuno. Primal. Violent. Yeah, think about it. Think about that rabid Kuno shit! He seems glad someone understood what he was going for. But right as he's getting distracted, you hear a malevolent hiss from behind the fence. Watch out, Kuno! He's trying to fiddle you! He's gonna put his hands on you! Help! Pig's got Kuno! Help! Rape! Help! He's got the Kuno! Help! He's digging his dick out! Escalate, Kuno! His dick is out! You're afraid! Pigs are hurting, Kuno! Somebody, please! How did we get here? How did this happen? This makes no sense. There may still be a way out. Just appeal to his reason. Thump. The blow connects surprisingly well, leaving your knuckles tingling. Kuno feels it. This was no light tap. Officer. This is very far from normal police conduct. Get yourself together. Okay, pig. You could almost hear the gears rattling. A change in set decorations. It's safe to say he did not establish dominance over you. Kuno knows to respect that violent shit. You should see Kuno's dad. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit about anything. The creature behind the fence has fallen ominously silent. Only her eyes are alive, jumping from actor to actor. Okay, pig. Talk to Kuno. We're back in this shit. The fuck do you want? Kuno does Kuno's like Kuno's dad? Kuno doesn't give a fuck. It's not Kuno. It's Kuno S. Kuno S is by far the worst of the two. Kuno has no problem being near you, but the other hides behind the fence, afraid for her life, like she's done something. Something very bad. She came up with that psychopathic scheme of screaming for help before. Kuno just wanted to talk to you about his name. Kuno S was the one who wound him up and also 
Kuno hasn't stopped talking to you, even enjoys it from time to time. When you talk to the other one, it's like talking to a cornered animal. She only hisses. All in all, Kuno respects madness. You cannot hope to outdo her on that front. You must win yourself a few minutes with him alone. Kuno S is by far the worst of the two. Kuno has no... She came... Also, all in all, Kuno respects madness. You Fuck you whispering about. He's whispering too. He's going with it. But watch what happens. Fuck you f***ing whispering about. If Kuno wants to whisper, he's gonna fucking whisper, okay? Let's whisper, pig. This is it. You've got him. But be careful. You can still fuck this up. Don't make Kuno look bad in this. She's not fucked up. Everyone's fucked up. Stop judging shit. Wrong move. But he's whispering still. You haven't lost him. Just don't mess up again. It's okay. The pig's trying to pit us against each other. Not gonna let him do that. Idiot. You bungled it up. That's it. You let him off the line. Like Kuno's dad? Kuno doesn't give a fuck about anything. He's on your crime. Like Kuno's dad? Kuno doesn't give a- It's not Kuno. It's Kuno S. Kuno S. She came also, all in all. Fuck you whispering about. He's whispering too. He's going with it. But watch what happens. Fuck you f whispering about. If Kuno wants to whisper, he's gonna fucking whisper, okay? Let's whisper, pig. This is it. You've got him. Crazy? You don't know the half of it. She's not crazy. She's insane. Dangerous. She smoked a man. She's done people in. Probably even pigs. Stop talking to him! Kuno, I'm fucking warning you! You're gonna get us into shit! She understands what you're trying to do. Yo, see! Did Kuno not tell ya? Kuno told ya! Kuno talks to whoever he wants! Talk, pig. Kuno's got it under control. You did it. They're separated. He's even turned his back to her, so she can't read his lips. Fuck. She can read lips. You should cup your mouth. Fuck no, she's not me sister. She's just a stray who got in. Like a mad dog or some shit. Yeah, she was just there. What was that, Kuno? She was in the hallway, dripping wet, by the fucking shoe rack, in the dark. Yeah, that's the place. She was just balled up near the closet, psycho style. Kuno's got no fucking idea. Her hair was all wet. I think she pissed on the floor too. She was there for three days, in the corner, every time Kuno went out. I don't know. Someone left the door open. Kuno comes home, and she's sleeping under the desk, under a pile of clothes, like a dog. 
Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit. Doesn't even see her there. Or thinks it's fucking Kuno. Shit's all on Kuno. Kuno? Kuno S? Two of a kind. Cause she fucking looks like Kuno. No one knows her name. Kuno calls her C. Kuno means she killed someone. That's right. C's a killer. Like, actually a killer. He's meant everything he said before. But right now, he not only means it, he is sincere. Fucking yeah. Kuno knows you don't want to face this right now. This dark shit. Kuno faces this shit every day. Makes Kuno skin crawl. She's probably killed a pig too. I mean, I'm pretty sure she has. Forget Kuno said that. Kuno was just shitting. Kuno was just running his mouth. Kuno's stupid like that. A cop would be too large for her to overpower. But a determined child of her size can still kill the vulnerable, the elderly, the homeless, or other, other children. The creature peers at you both from over the fence. There is something searching in her eyes. Fear. Yeah, she's psycho. None of that kiddie psycho, cap and shit. She does the real deal. Yeah. Snuff radio shit. Believe me, pig, you don't want to know. Fuck knows. She says it's the song of air people or some shit. Crazy people. The fucking knackies. I don't know. Sounds boreal, like something from the tundra and tiger-covered cutler, Isola. Far, far away from here. As far as possible, really. Soro is? Like that man from Shelmdol shit? She could be. She could be that Shelmdol shit. Revelshot does have a small Sororese community. Or, she climbed into a yakberry crate and was shipped over accidentally. Kuno falls silent. He does not look at you when he replies. Kuno, there, uh, that's it. Uh, that's what Kuno is starting to think, yeah? Don't move your head. Just from the corner of your eye, look at her. Though her friend spoke too low for her to hear, Kuno S is not smiling anymore. Yeah. She would have liked to fuck him up, but she didn't. Kuno wasn't around, and C was with Kuno. Look, Kuno's gonna put you at ease. We didn't do it. He speaks the truth, my liege. How's Kuno dealing? Kuno's dealing just fine. He doesn't need you fucking with any of it. C doesn't either. Kuno's got this shit under control. Listen, listen. C is Kuno's go-to. Kuno's protecting her. You fuck with C. You fuck with Kuno. You threaten her. You threaten to take her away. This is what it all comes down to. He needs you to take him seriously now. I am going to kill you. I'll run when you put the cuffs on her, sneak up on you later, and fuck you up. You understand? He may not be able to do it, but he will try. Right now, he believes he will. All right. Now we can do business. He's breathing heavily. That took something out of him. Yeah? What do you want? Kuno can hook you up with... Don't hook him up with shit, Kuno! See? Relax. He respects the Kuno. Kuno made him respect the Kuno. You respect the Kuno, you get all kinds of shit. Kuno's gonna get you hooked on illegal narcotics. 
if you run a little errand for the Kuno, get you hooked, pig. Get his hook in you. Then Kuno gonna get you hooking for more. Ca That's right. Kuno is a candy store for pigs now. Get ready to be rewarded. Kuno doesn't fucking care. This coin-operated viewer is facing southwest. Its coin slot is full. The metal feels cold and a thick layer of graffito covers the lenses. That's Kuno on the lens. Under the graffito, a sea of blues and greys appear. Behind the water lies a coast studded with coin. You know this to be the star of Perikonasset. The church looks around the large wooden building you Just an ordinary war. Nothing to see here. Just an ordinary war. Nothing to see here. Just an ordinary war. Nothing here. Why? Just an ordinary war. Nothing here. Why am Just an ordinary war. Not because you see it. Finally. This wall is sublime. Look at it. The shadows. The colors. All the other walls on all the other houses must make a pilgrimage in adoration of this. The uncontested pinnacle of warcraft. Color peeled from the very face of God. O oh, Wallfather. Huh? He sounds tired of it all. You already have the heavy fuel oil to use as paint. It's red. And Cindy the Skull has a paintbrush. This is on. If you must. Trying to sneak up on me again? Thank you. 
Give me a moment. It's about Victor, isn't it? It's always about Victor with her. You'll find the measures in apartment 20 upstairs. It's one of those doors on the balcony. Something smells good. Soup à l'oignon. The lieutenant motions to you to go ahead and knock. This is the door. You already know it's the right door. This is going to be so hard. You're right. Let's talk this true. You hear light footsteps passing by the door and some folk music playing. Chances are that whoever is going to greet us behind that door is somehow related to the deceased. This means that our job here is to deliver the death notification, as well as identify the body. Now, delivering a death notification is never an easy task. There's a reason why it's often called the most stressful part of our job. This is why it's usually done in pairs. You got this. I'll be monitoring reactions, ready to act if necessary. Dead? Just don't say that you know how they feel. You don't. Good advice. The lieutenant motions. weathered brown door. The lieutenant, this is the door. You already know it's the right... Hello? Who is it? He gives you a short, encouraging nod. The police? A moment, please give us a moment. There's fear in her voice. Come in, the door is open. from the book stand. I don't think I introduced myself properly. I'm Billy. Would you like something to drink? Tea? The lieutenant has taken off his foggy glasses and is busy cleaning them in his handkerchief for now. He must feel vulnerable without his glasses. Is this why he's letting you take the lead?
is this about Victor, my husband? Is he in some kind of trouble again? No, this is something much worse. Is he in a hospital? How bad is it? You've done this before. Just keep your focus. What did you say? A great and terrible spike. The blood freezes in her veins. Oh. Oh. But... He was just... But he was just here. Alive. We understand this comes as a huge shock. I want you to know that me and my partner are here for you, if you have any questions. Take your time, ma'am. What happened to him? Was he drunk? I see. And you just found him there, lying in the cold. How long had he been there? If you say two days, maybe, it will be etched in her mind forever. She blinks, eyes welling up with tears as her hand starts searching for something from the pockets of her dress. The handkerchief. A small, terrified smile quivers on her face as she takes the handkerchief and wipes away the tears. She looks disoriented. Is there anyone we could call for you? A friend, a family member, someone who could be here for you? No, no. I just need to tell my girls. It burns like acid. God, should I call them? Should I tell them to come home? No. A day. Good. That's probably the right thing. Thank you. Just tell me, what do I need to do next? Where is he? Can I see him? We've taken him to the city morgue. The local coroner will be contacting you shortly to arrange the funeral. Here's his number in case you want to contact him earlier. A very good call. Is there anything else that the RCM could do for you? No, I'll call you if something comes up. I'm still... Thank you. Thank you for telling me. I'll call if... These are her last reserves of strength. Her muscles will give in soon. Already, she starts to shake. We should step outside and talk. You did well. You did enough. Can't save the whole world, you know. Can't bring the dead back. I'll call the station tomorrow and let them know the name of the deceased. They'll manage. They have to. 
It's not your place to live there, Lion. Let's go. You look south, over the crumbling balustrade. There, 1.2 kilometers away, a piece of broken stone cuts into the sky. A tomb. On it, a mural that used to say, tomorrow is just a whisper away. You cannot really see the fell building from here, but somehow you feel like you should return to it. Again, officers, have you come to what for? Well, if it's for art, but what kind of art are we talking about? Then you have time to find your own fucking brush. There, there, Piggy. I guess art just isn't really you. Because you suck. In life and in everything. Again, officers, have you come to admire my mural? <laughs> 